Refinement. That is the one word I would use to describe the motorcycle I'm riding today. That is the BMW GS 850 Adventure. G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael, the Moto Barista. I'm out here today practicing some social distancing as you can see and test riding this awesome adventure motorcycle. Now before you get a little bit fiery in the comments, I checked with the local police and I'm okay to be out riding. I hope all of you around the world are keeping safe during this crazy time and wherever possible finding time to either be riding your motorcycle or at least working on it in the garage. As you know, I ride a Harley Davidson Spork Light as my main ride, but now I'm also looking to add a mid-sized adventure bike into the stable. So far, I've taken a spin on both the KTM 790 Adventures, the S model and the R model, which are really fantastic uh, as aggressive off-road riding bikes. I've also taken the Yamaha Tenere 700, a more stripped down adventure bike without all of the electronics. But perhaps the bike that started it all was BMW's GS series. And the 850 is their mid-weight bike designed to challenge those bikes that I mentioned before. Now let's come back to that word I started this video off with, refinement. After riding the bike on the road to get to this area that I am now, it really just, it was very clear to me how well polished and made and thought out this motorcycle is. And really that's no surprise from BMW. The engine is beautifully smooth. It's so silky. It has a really nice torque and a nice upper end and they seem to blend together just really, really nice. Let's compare that to the Tenere, for example, from Yamaha. That's a really torquey motorcycle. That power's really down low. But I found that it didn't really extend up into the high range and you couldn't really rev it out. Yeah, the KTM on the other side, you can tell that that bike really wants to scream and be ridden aggressively. The BMW is just smooth throughout the RPM range. There just seems to be a nice power curve um, whenever you need it. And it's just a really nice bike to ride because of that. Now, this is the adventure version. So we've got the big fuel tank. It's a 26 liter tank, which is massive. Um, obviously the downside of that is how bulky it is at the front. So perhaps if you wanted to be a bit more um, off-road focused, you'd want to go for the regular version with a smaller fuel tank. But there are some advantages of that big tank as well. Not only does it hold more fuel, it also offers more wind protection as well. So riding the highways to get here, I found that I was very comfortable and there was very little uh, wind turbulence as well. And that's also to do with the windscreen. What's really great I found was just an easy one-handed adjustment of the windscreen. Popping it up and down on the fly as you ride was really, really nice. So having it up on the highway helped stop some of that wind noise. And now, now that I'm off-road, I can pop it back down and have a little bit more kind of uh, visibility. So, as you know, the bike that I'm looking for is a bike that is predominantly for off-road riding. I obviously, of course, want to be able to ride long distance on highways or freeways in order to get to my destination. But once I'm there, I want to ride aggressive off-road uh, because of my motocross background. So that's what I'm looking for in my adventure motorcycle. And that's why we're out here today, just to see a little bit how it performs off-road. Now, I can't push it too hard, of course, I am, simply just test riding this bike. We also need to bear in mind that the tires that I have on here are a 70-30 tire. They're a little bit slick and already I can kind of feel that slip uh, and that jitteriness, that slide coming into place uh, on this kind of loose gravel surface that we have here. So we're going to take that into consideration. We're going to take our time um, and I think more than, more than the traction that I'm looking for, I'm looking to see how that suspension travels. All right, so enough talk. Let's jump back on the bike, do a few laps through this little forest here, and let's see how the bike goes. Man, this engine's so smooth, even in the wrong gear. 
There's power there just to help you out. Little wheel slide. Just worried about this front end with these tires. Just very loose gravel. Oh man, ABS is amazing though. I need to come back here on a KTM. I'll admit that this, oh, a bit of sand. This bike feels comfortable off-road. It's very capable, it's very smooth, but I don't feel like I can thrash it quite as much as I could a KTM 790, for example, especially that R model, the thing was incredible. All right, all right, old girl, I think you're a bit too fat for there. Let's go right. Oh. Nice little bit of wheel slip there. The suspension is very soft. I can feel, whew, especially that rear shock, feels very, very soft. I can probably tighten that up. I know it's electronic. very smooth but it's not aggressive now on that KTM 790R especially in rally mode if I was going through here I'd have no problem just having that wheel up most of the time over the bumps oh, I look back at the fence line as you can tell I have no idea where I'm going never been here before that's what these bikes are about Yeah. Okay, the fence is not terrible there. It's very comfortable. I could probably do this all day on this bike. I definitely can't ride as fast as I could on the KTM, but I'm probably a bit more comfortable. I'll say that. Ooh. But who wants comfort when you're throwing a bike sideways? Oh, a bit gravelly here, so watch that front end. Like I said, just taking it nice and easy. This is a test ride, not my bike. And we've got 70, 30 tires on it. Whew, tell you what, this is good fun. So, all right, so just finished the off-road riding section of this little test ride. And I have to say, I had a good bit of fun. Um, obviously the bike is pretty, it's, obviously the bike's pretty big. It's pretty top heavy with that big tank. And when you hit a slow section or you stop, that's when the weight really starts to come into play. If this bike wants to go down, it's gonna be hard stopping it. So bear that in mind if you're a smaller uh, rider. Otherwise, the bike feels great. It's really well balanced. BMW are really, really good at engineering their bikes to have great handling chassis and manage their weight. Just look at the GS1250 and you'll see that that bike is praised for how well it carries its massive load. One thing I will say, it's very comfortable whilst riding off-road. It's a very comfortable riding position to be in and the suspension is quite good. It's a little bit soft for me. I think that 
for most riders, this bike is going to be fantastic for off-road. If you're riding just kind of gravel roads and some, you know, some sometimes some slower technical areas, it's going to be great. But if you want to go fast and you want to ride aggressive, the suspension starts to wallow out a little bit. It's a little bit soft uh, and feels a little bit pillowy, a little bit cushiony. Um, and again, again, this is really just comparing it to something like the KTM 790R. That suspension is ridiculous. Like how fast you can ride that bike on off-road areas and rough off-road areas is ridiculous. Most, most people aren't going to utilize that. But for myself, trying to ride an adventure bike, like a motocross bike, which, you know, might not be the best idea, but that's what I want to do. This bike in particular just starts to feel a little bit soft at uh, higher speeds. That being said, uh, this bike is probably the most complete package of all the mid-sized adventure bikes that I've ridden. Everything just feels polished and refined. I think if I was going to only have one motorcycle, I think it would be a BMW because it just does everything really, really well. Is it right for me? I don't think so right now. And the only reason is, is because I have, a, I have a Harley Davidson and I want a second bike to be more off-road focused and something that I can ride aggressively. That being said, if I decided that uh, I only wanted one motorcycle, something for everyday riding, something for long distance travel, something to go off-road, something to tackle everything with, I don't think you can beat the BMW GS. And I think that is what this bike is made for. It is the Swiss army knife of motorcycles. It does everything exceptionally well. So let's quickly just have a look at the ergos. Now I'm six foot tall, I've got a 34 inch inseam and I am flat footing this motorcycle. Now I'm on a little bit of a slant here, so you know, you can't quite see that, but I am, I'm flat footing this motorcycle. Yeah, it's a nice comfortable riding position. I quite like the fact that my feet don't feel um, as pulled back as say Triumph Tiger, KTM even. Uh, I feel a little bit more of a neutral riding position, which I find to be a little bit more comfortable. Um, and I really like it. Yeah, it's, it's, com it's comfortable, guys. It's refined. It's, it's BMW. This is what they do. Obviously, the BMW comes with all the electronics that you could possibly think of. Uh, ride modes, TFT display, uh, heated grips, adjustable, electronic adjustable suspension. This thing has everything. It's got cruise control. It's got a ridiculous number of buttons on the handlebars. Uh, there's not much else you could possibly ask for on a bike. Um, I've been riding in dynamic mode on the street. And like I said before, that power is really smooth uh, and it's really usable all the way through the RPM range. On the off-road section, I've been in off-road mode. Uh, that's kind of just uh, nukes a little bit of that power, makes it a little bit smoother in the low end so you're not um, sliding out as much. So you can have a little bit more control on the introduction of power off-road. Um, and I can also feel the off-road ABS working really nicely. So that locks up the back brake, but allows ABS to function on the front brake. And that's definitely saved my ass a little bit out here today. Um, mainly because I just don't know these roads, like many of you won't when riding an adventure bike. And it's really nice to have some really fantastic brakes um, for those scenarios. Well, that wraps it up. I'm gonna jump back on the bike and have a bit more fun before I have to take it back. But let me know what you think to the GS850 in the comments below. What do you think about it compared to say the Triumph Tiger, the KTM 790 I rode before, and of course the Yamaha Tenere. Again, these are all the mid-sized bikes I'm looking at to add to my stable. Is this the bike for me? I'm not sure right now. Like I said, I want something a bit more aggressive, but that might not be what you want. Leave your questions in the comments below. And until the next video, ride safe, drink damn fine coffee, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.